Hello all, welcome to the channel. This is Basic and today I'm gonna show you how to make a bearing simulation. In this video, we apply the force of outering of the bearing and we will see how much force this bearing will be resist. So I am starting the tutorial. So here you can see I have a bearing. So today we will make a simulation on the bearing. In new study, we go down and uh, get here nonlinear dynamic study and click OK. Now apply material so here I am applying here yellow steel material ok so here we have yellow steel here now apply and close now fine now fixture right click here and here we have a fixed hinge dub and here we select the id part now click ok ok so external force and here we will apply a force outer ring and the force value is uh, let's say 10 kN and click OK. Now simple right click and mesh. Here we create mesh as a standard. OK now fine. In a study property here uh, you can see uh, time in solution and uh, time start time is zero and uh, end time is uh, one it shows a second it shows a one second and uh, here you can see the incremental time so i am writing here one so because uh, it takes uh, less time to give the result and uh, so simply cancel and yes Okay, now run the study. Non-linear study take a long time to give the result. So it will take a long time, like uh, sometimes it take uh, 10 hours, or sometimes 5 hours. Okay, so I have a result, so I just cancel it. Okay, so um, this is my first study. Here, all things are the same. And so, first is a uh, stress. So, here you can see my maximum stress value that is uh, more than the yield point. It means uh, when I apply the 10 kN force on outer side of the bearing that time bearing will fail so i need to decrease the my load okay so the displacement here you can see my maximum displacement okay here you can see my maximum displacement is 8.67 for mm so this is my maximum displacement in uh, stress value, if you want to see where is the maximum stress, so here you can see. So, this is my full bearing, and if you drag the, you can see the maximum area. You can see area where is the maximum stress, right.
okay just cancel it in uh, displacement if you want to see where is the maximum displacement so drag the arrow the red part shows the maximum displacement okay now cancel it now let's uh, animate and uh, i am just making uh, 50 to 75 and uh, play okay here you can see frame is getting and uh, this frame is uh, between 50 to 75 here you can see the step of 50 to 75 step and uh, in step number 75 my maximum displacement is uh, 2.225 mm okay So this is the how you can make a bearing simulation on SolidWorks. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe to the channel and like and share the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you all.